Click the duplicate button. You'll need to either log into your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. An overview of the template. When you first download the template, you'll notice that the main section is the resource database. Here, all of your resources are filtered based on category. Each item inside the database also has customizable properties where you can add more information. On the left hand side, there's a quick access menu for all of your categories. Add a new resource. To add a new resource, click plus new in the uncategorized filter. A new page will pop up for your resource. Fill in the title, date, category, type, URL, and description. Feel free to also add a cover photo. If the category you want to add doesn't exist yet, we'll explain how to add it in the next section. Set up your categories. If you want to save a resource that is not a part of any of the pre-existing categories, you can add a new category when adding a new resource. Simply type the name of the new category and click create inside your resource. Once a new category is added, you'll next need to make a new filter. Click on your list of filter views and duplicate one of them. You can do this by opening the list of database views and clicking the three dots next to the name. Once it is duplicated, rename the view by clicking the three dots again. Now click filter and change the filter to category is and check the box with your created category. Now choose save for everyone. On the left hand side, you'll also want to update the menu. To do this, type the name of the category in the menu. Then go to the categories filter and right click or control click the filter view title. You'll have an option to copy link. Highlight the name of the category in the menu and add the copied link as your link. Notion's Web Clipper is a useful tool that helps you store any information you find while browsing the internet straight into Notion. We've designed the Resource Hub template so that it can be used best along with the Notion Web Clipper. Web Clipper is available on three browsers, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. We'll leave a link below to the Web Clipper. Let's go over adding a resource using the Web Clipper. We'll use Chrome as an example. First, go to the Chrome store and add the free Chrome extension. Then, make sure you're logged into Notion on your browser. Go to the page you want to save to the resource hub and click the Notion icon in the Chrome browser. You'll be able to title the resource. Then, make sure you're in the right workspace. Find the resource hub template by going to the Add To section and finding the database called Resources. Now when you save a page, it will automatically appear in the uncategorized section. Make sure to add the category to the uncategorized section and all other relevant information later. Let's go over how to add a resource to the Resource Hub template through your phone. Make sure you have the Notion app installed in your phone. First, find an article that you want to add to the Resource Hub and click Share. Choose the Notion app. Just like with the desktop web clipper, you'll need to find the correct workspace and database to add it to. Now you can directly save and edit the resource on your phone through the Notion app.
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to use Notion as a second brain along with Notion's Web Clipper. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.